This is Steve Marsh with MSPMag.com, and we're here at the Burnett Gallery in the Chambers Hotel for Megan Rye's Long Night's Journey Into Day. Megan, you want to show us around? Sure. So your brother uh, w was in Iraq for uh, how many tours? My brother is a Marine Reservist, and he was in Iraq from 2004 to 2005. And while he was in Iraq, he took over 2,000 photographs. He gave his entire archive to me in order for me to make paintings from them. So this is obviously um, exactly like the photograph. What's fascinating about it is the figure has a face that is hidden and he's wearing these goggles. And so while it is heroic and strong, it's also a bit complicated and ambiguous and mysterious. Tell me about this image. Well, this image is titled Ghosts, and obviously the original image was a little bit different from this image here that I've painted. I invented the red line down the center, and I also bleached out the color on the right side. Some people see the figure in the right in a very ethereal light. Other people think that it has to do with memory or loss. Chuck Close does a grid, and then he does every pixel almost is, is exact to the, to the photograph. What's your technique like? Well, I look at the photograph the whole time that I'm doing the painting, and I use brushes that are about an eighth or a fourth of an inch wide, and so they're very small, very precise. These paintings take between two, three, four months to do, so I have a long time to stay with that photograph and that image. This is the one image in the show that the photographic source is not solely from my brother. My brother's photograph in this painting is the large building that's a ruined building in Fallujah. It depicts a civilian Iraqi child who was unfortunately in the middle of an accident with U.S. military personnel. The title of the show, Long Night's Journey and Today, is also the title of this painting, and I think it sums up how I feel about the war and war in general. It is that long night, that long struggle, that long journey until we can get to the other side. A landscape painting, a sunset painting, it almost looks like it could be anywhere. Why did you pick this one? I think because it could be anywhere, it interested me. It's a beautiful image. It has this mysterious glowing object in the left hand, in the bottom left corner. When you realize that it's from a war zone, there's kind of a shift in your mind, and you might look at it a little differently. For the most part, we don't see any any images other than the little girl over there of, of uh, calamity or disaster. Uh, why, why did you decide to exclude that? To me, it would have been almost too simple to show bloody bodies on the street. I wanted there to be ambiguity in this work, and I think by focusing on images that are sort of chilling and haunting yet beautiful, it brings that ambiguity to the fore. We're here with uh, Megan Rye, uh, Long Night's Journey into, into Day. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you very much. You've been associated with Young British Art Movement for a long time. What's next, though? I don't really know what the next movement will be. Peggy and I were collecting uh, the, the young artists um, in, in the YBAs way before they did the show in 1995. We, we, and I've got one of Damien Hirst's uh, earliest pieces that he did when he first got out of Goldsmith College. The audacity of that movement, and it's kind of not connected to anything political, and this show is so political. It really is showing Iraq, period. It's not saying Iraq is good or bad. I don't think Megan, I think she can uh, confirm that, she's not, she's not opining on whether it's right or whether the president was right to go into Iraq. She's just showing people Iraq. The art market is, 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 is hurting like any other market right now, isn't it? No. The market's a little softer, but I mean it is not upside down. There were good auctions at Christie's and good auctions at Sotheby's, and the market is, collectibles are so much stronger than, than stocks right now. I'm going to purchase one of these. I which one? Which one? I'm not sure. I'm not going to say. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Well, uh, thanks for thanks for having us tonight, and uh, thanks for supporting local art. Well, thank you.